Now see the part six of coordination compound. Part six coordination compound. Question number twenty three. So it is asked in two thousand six. So when chromium is attached with water with six molecules and Cl three, so chromium is your central metal atom. Chromium Cr four. Chromium and H two water. Right Cl two chlorine. Atomic number of chromium it is given. Chromium atomic number is twenty four. Has a magnetic moment. Mu is also given that is three point eight three Bohr magneton. The correct distribution of three d electrons in the chromium will be right. So see the value chromium. Atomic number twenty four. Magnetic moment is given. As we know, magnetic moment formula is mu equal to under root of n into n plus two. Right. So mu value is three point eight three equal to under root of n into n plus two. So after squaring, you will get and solving n equal to three. Right. So three electrons are unpaired in d orbital. Right. So this represents n equal to three, three unpaired electron. Understood? So for normal chromium ox, uh, atomic number is twenty four, and electronic distribution will be, or electronic configuration will be argon four h two three d four. So I will shift one electron here, then it will become argon. 4s1 3d5. So this will be the unpaired electron. Right. So there are total how many three electrons in the last orbit? So what will happen? Three electrons. So remove other electrons from here. So it will be 4s0. So it will be 3d3 only. Right. So three electrons is removed. So argon is In plus three oxidation state, right? So now see the distribution of chromium in three d orbital. So three electrons are there. So there are total five sub cell of d orbital. So one, two, three, three unpaired electrons are there. So it will be three d x y, three d y z, three d z x. Understood? So it will be three d x square y square. Its name is three z square. So this will be the electronic distribution in d orbital. So a starting first three will be distribution in d orbital. So please write it down. Now look at the next sum that is twenty four. So, which one of the following is an inner orbital complex as well as diamagnetic in behavior? So, it is talk talking about inner orbital complex. Orbital complex and diamagnetic behavior. Diamagnetic behavior. Right. So. See the explanation now. So suppose I am taking C option directly, then it is compound is CO cobalt with NH three ligands. Total six ligands are there with central atom, right? So it starts from a scandium in the G. So it will be scandium, titanium, aluminium, chromium, magnesium. Iron, cobalt, nickel, copper. Okay. Now this is twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. 
right so cobalt atomic number is 27 so electronic distribution will be argon 4s2 3d7 so this will be the electronic distribution in the last orbital so after losing three electrons it will form argon 4s0 3d6 so these are the six unpaired electrons in d orbitals right so see the electronic distribution of d orbital so there are five sub cells one two three four five right so right give one one electron to the each orbital five six right so it will do the inner pairing so what will happen this electron will pair with here and this electron pair here so two empty d orbital will be remaining then right so this is called inner pair or inner orbital complex so it is also called as inner pairing right due to strong field ligands so it will become then this is your d orbitals so d paired electron will be there right in d orbital this will be the intake p2 and it is six ligands are there so d2 here s will use next p will be used understood so it will be d2 sp3 so hybridization will be d2 sp3 so it is your diamagnetic because all the electrons are paired right paired. that's why it is diamagnetic if it is unpaired then it will be paramagnetic so this is diamagnetic and hybridization is d2 sp3 right due to the inner orbital complex so please write the explanation Now look at the next sum that is 27. So CN is a strong field ligands, right? So CN is strong field ligands. So the, this is due to the fact that so it is asked in 2004. So what is the fact about it? So CN is pseudo halides. So CN is also called as pseudo halides pseudo halides it is a stronger coordinating ligands with the stability to form sigma and pi bond right so it forms two bonds sigma and pi bonds right because cyanide is like c triple bond n so one is sigma and next two bond is pi bond so it is having both bonds right sigma and pi bonds and is, it is also strong field ligands. So this is the reason. So write it down, asked in 2000. Now see the question number 28. So which of the following doesn't have a metal carbonyl compounds? So it is talking about does not have a metal carbon bond. Right. So, see the explanation for that one. Suppose I am taking the option number ALCOC2H53. So, it doesn't have metal carbonyls, right? Metal carbonyl bonds does not have metal carbonyl. Bond. So, see the structure of it. So, it will be CH3, H3C, H2CO, AL, OCH2, CH3. It is O, CH2, CH3. So, this is the structure for this diagram. So, there is no carbon bond, right? 
metal carbon bond right so there is no metal carbon bond in here here it is this is carbon and oxygen bond right and here carbon and oxygen bond is again so aluminium is your metal here here is your aluminium metal so write this one Now next is 29. So 29 is number of unpaired electrons in the complex. You have to find it. So it is nothing but COF6 3 minus. So cobalt atomic number is 27. It is already given. Right. So very simple to explain it. So I will first find the oxidation state of cobalt. So it is CO6F equal to minus 3. So it is CO plus 6 into minus 1 equal to minus 3. So it will be CO equal to plus 6 minus 3. It is equal to plus 3 cobalt. Understood? So it will lose the electron. So general electronic configuration for cobalt of 27 will be argon 4H2 3D7. After losing the electron, so it is CO3 plus. So three electrons will be reduced. So it will be argon 4s0 3d6. Stored. So now do the this one distribution of electron. So d orbital have five parts. So one, two, three, four, five. So first will be only paired and four rest of the four will be unpaired. And as we know that chlorine F stands for here chlorine is weak field ligands right so it will not do the pairing so no pairing will occur so there are total four unpaired electrons are there one two three four so n equal to four unpaired electrons are there right so, fluorine is weak field ligands. Now, see the question number 31. Which of the following organometallic compound? Next is organometallic compound. Right. Is Sigma and pi bond. So it is asked in 2001. So see the C option. So it is cobalt carbonyl compound 5 times NH3 raised to 2 plus. Right. So CO atom is attached with NH3. CO is nothing but is a cobalt. So it is attached with NH3 to sigma and sigma bonding, right? So it is attached with sigma bonding and with CO. So CO is here carbonyl bond through the tati bond. Tati Pi bond. So please write this one. So carbonyl com contains both bond, right? It contains sigma and pi bond both. So remember this one here. This CO is your carbonyl compound or carbonyl ligands. Now see the next thirty two. So, 32 is talking about coordination number of nickel, right, in the compound like C2O4 3 times raised to 4 minus. So, it is talking about your coordination number, right, CM. It is asked in 2001. So, 
as we know c2o4 is bident ligand so c2 write the explanation also c2o4 two minus is bident ligands bident ligands right so total six compounds of this is attached with the central metal atom so one donate two lone pair so it will be two into three so total six coordination number will be there right so coordination number is six which is provided by this c2o4 two minus right due to the by ligands property now see the 34 question number so in 34 which of the following is it maximum ionic conductivity it is talking about ionic conductivity right so ionic conductivity depends on the number of ions dissociated right so k4 Fe Cn six it produce five ions so I will write in the ionic form so it will be four K plus plus Fe Cn six raised to four minus understood so you can count the number of ions so it is four here and one is here so total five ions are there so maximum ionic con conductivity is shown by this K four Fe Cn six compounds. Right. So you have to write in the cation and anion find anion form to find the number of conductivity. Now next term is 35 C. In the separation of Cu2 plus and Cd2 plus of second group. So it comes under the second group group of quantitative analysis of cation tetraamine copper sulfate right tetraamine copper sulfate tetra amine copper sulfate and tetra amine cadmium sulfate so next compound is tetra amine Cadmium sulfate. Cadmium sulfate. React with potassium cyanide to form the complex cyano complex. Which of the following pair of the complex and their stability enables the separation of Cu2 plus and cadmium 2 plus? It is question number 35, right? So see the explanation. So I will write the molecular form. It is K3CuCN4 is more stable. So this is more stable while K2CdCN4 is less stable right why it is so stable because ions are more so it will be 3k plus cu cn 4 minus so it is more stable as compared to this one it is having this is 3 plus 1 4 stable ions are there so it is 2k plus plus is cd cn 4 2 minus so only 2 plus 1, 3 ions are there and stored. Now seek the next sum that is 37. So, co a coordination complex compound of com cobalt molecular formula containing 5 ammonia. So, it is connected with 5 ammonia of this one. And next is one nitro. So it will be NO21 and two chloro. So it will be Cl2 
for one cobalt one of these compound produce 3 moles in the ion it is producing 3 moles right in the aqueous solution reacting with the excess of AgNO3 silver nitrate we get 2 moles of 2 moles of silver chloride as ppt so any formula of the complex you have to tell so your complex will be like this only right so it will be in the outer part so this will be the formula molecular name is given now so you can dissociate in the form of this cationic and anionic so it will be co ns35 no2 2 plus producing 2 cl minus ions right and this 2 cl minus ion react with 2 silver nitrate so it will be 2 AgCl plus 2 NO3 minus. So, write this reaction. Now, see the, now see the question number 39. In metal carbonyl, general formula is MCO raised to X. M is metal and X is equal to 4. Metal bonded with the carbonyl compound, right? So, it is very simple. So, in generally, metal carbonyl will be looking like this, like MCO4. So, I have put the value of X bonded to the ligands, that is CO carbon, carbonyl compound, right? So, it forms C and pi bond both, sigma and pi bond both, right? So, write this one. And join with the next 